Well, here we are at the scene of another derailment in the West Yard. This time, the Housatonic was not involved. CSX was. And they got, they tore out some track, but it looks like they even wrecked a switch or two. And basically, they slit their own throat. They, this is uh, train 424 at the West Yard. And they could not get their equipment, their engines, around this because right where they did it is right at the, where they derailed was right where the switch is so they could pr go around the train but they they did it in a double whammy so basically there's no freaking help for them So whatever track they had to run around on, they can't even go around the derailed equipment because the equipment has destroyed some, did some serious damage here. This is the, uh, we're shooting from the junction bridge because we're not going to trespass to get video and pictures. So track one is completely obstructed by 424's cut. The tonic was supposed okay. to pick this cut of cars up, but it ain't happening. And it's sprinkling right now. Holy shit. Looks like they ripped springs off one of the wheel sets on the car. I can't tell. Oh, there's been... I think this is like the third or fourth derailment in this yard. But the first one involving CSX and that with the Housatonic, not cracking on them. But they're not even able to get their cars to meet their customers' needs. Oh, we just got a call from 103, and he's told us to back the train up to uh, Lennox. And uh, if there's enough time, we're going to run around and push the pitch field. I'm calling you because, of course, we only have one way for it. We actually cut a hole in the fence if you noticed.
this is 424. This is how bad they have it. There's the power that would be on the on that train after the cars were pushed. In a clip from an, one of the clips of the videos there shows of a, one of these big HRLX cars was messing a wheel set and I guess that the axle had snapped and picked up the car the, the car body and lifted it off the wheel and the wheel just got dragged right to the middle section of the car. But this is 424. They are basically dead in the water because of this derailment. And the real really worst derailment in history actually happened here involving a trap rock train in 1984 when they had a trap rock train coming from West Springfield to Selkirk derailed six cars underneath the junction bridge way over there buried by the trees and they uh, they piled up the six trap rock cars and two box cars got in the middle of the mess uh, this is 424 which its trip ended very short here in Pittsfield we are not getting any closer than we are other than from a bridge shop but this is this is what's happening in Pittsfield. The last four derailments which I've documented from Junction Bridge were involved in the Housatonic. This time was involved in CSX. We're not going to stick around in this spot for too long because I don't want to get these CSX people mad anywhere than they are because they'd rather be at home on a Sunday with their families. Thank you for watching. Bye. To find out. There's the second switch. Looks like the track even buckled. It flopped up. The rail almost looked like it flopped over. These guys are me measuring to see how much materials they're going to need to fix the yard. And there's the track from yesterday that was from one of the cars hitting that rail and buckled it towards the other rail and put the track all out of whack. The day after the derailment, and there's no more derailed train in the yard. But the cars that were involved, I think that's some of the cars right there from, the, from yesterday's derailment.